Reddit, what's your best slash funniest personal example of petty revenge? I once had a colleague I hated, he was very condescending and really arrogant, so I put an extra bluetooth receiver in his computer for a computer mouse and kept the mouse in my drawer. I would just open my drawer and it would messes right up. Kept it going for like 2 months. He was about to murder the world when I thought I better stop. My wife is very picky about the mugs she has for different hot drinks. Tall mugs for coffee, wide mugs for tea, dainty cups for fruit teas. When she's being irritating and asks for a cuppa she gets very clean, boring builder's mugs and I delight at the mild irritation it brings. Speeding up a cowalker's double click speed and watch him squirm when his normal double clicking speed isn't working. When I was a kid I got the Sabrina of a Teenage Witch Handbook, it was full of kiddie experiments and stuff, and was pretty fun. My older sister had upset or annoyed me about something, so I tried out one of the tricks from the book, you fill a cup with water and some con kernels, put some tin foil on top of the cup, the kernels eventually pop, and it makes noise against the tin foil. I put it under her bed, it takes a few days to work, so I completely forgot about it, until one night I woke up to my two sisters whispering, it had popped in the middle of the night, and she thought there was a rat under her bed. I had a guy in school, who would always skip class, and then ask for my notes. We had a group project worth almost 40% of our grade and he did zero work, and the prof told me tough luck. Instead of just saying no the next time he asked for notes, I took the low road and began giving him edited versions. I would leave items out of lists, incorrectly define things or just straight up write stuff that makes no sense. An example of a, I would put in, to calculate return on investment, subtract your yearly earnings from your current bank balance, then multiply by H's factorial, 4.22. If he had even once bothered to crack the text he would have figured it out, but that apparently would have been too much effort for him. He retook that class. I have two with a previous landlord slash property management company. I signed a lease on a townhouse while in college, that included high speed internet the setup was basically one, router for 14 x townhouses, so like 28 people. Needless to say it was, and the location of our unit versus the router made it worse. We made some calls to try and get them to add a router or hardwire us in so we could add our own. No dice. Eventually I paid to get my own service and added two X routers in our unit. I changed the SSID to match what the free router was and kept the passwords the same so to the residents it looked like there was better coverage. After about two weeks I changed one router's password and just disconnected the other. So some residents could use the free router, some had a bad password, and some could connect, but couldn't reach the outside world. They must have been flooded with calls, because within 24 hours they had someone out, and added 3x new routers to help with coverage. The other was after a huge snowfall, 24 in 24 hours. The property management company hadn't touched the snow in our parking lot for days. After day 3 I called to mention we were sort of trapped, and they needed to send trucks slash snowblowers slash etc to take care of things. The response I got was basically sorry. We'll get to it sooner or later. Side note, years ago if you opened a Yahoo email, you could add a second email for recovery without confirming it. I created a new our Yahoo email address and used their general at xpropertymanagement as the alternate email. I had it copy every email to both. I then signed up for alerts for every time there was an eBay listing for snow plow snow blower snow shovel or there was a sale on X snow removal gear. It took a matter of hours before thousands of emails were sent. Ended up crashing their email server. They responded to all residents with a very nice email explaining they get the frustration, and they're working on it, so I paused the alerts 24 hours later, still nothing, alerts back on. Another email, another pause, another day of nothing, repeat. Eventually we got the driveway plowed and life was good. Listing a PlayStation 4 as brand new on multiple second hand goods websites for $50. I used my old landlord's phone number as the contact number, cos, that guy. He had to change numbers. Okay, this is not easy to understand, so let me explain first something about Chinese, Shanghai, culture. Old Chinese is think that it's really shameful to have a son near 30 who is still not married. 
Cause it means that you are not a good parent for not having find a good bride for your son, or you are too poor to afford a marriage, or your son is ugly. People won't care if someone don't want to have a family, or what, anyway they are going to speak ill about you and your family. The pressure is pretty high and everyone tend to want a grandchild, better if male, as soon as possible. My mother got sick 5 years ago in China, we are immigrants, so she don't have insurance there, her treatment went more than 30.000, and we went broken. Since her aunts and uncles still owned her some money she asked back some, but guess what? They denied it, and let her sick, and wait for death, cause they don't need the friendship of someone broken. I have to quit school and work to help her, and that the reason for my poor English. After 4 years she was cured, and I got myself a family, had 2 sons, and bought a house with the help of my in-laws business. Everything turned out just fine. Last year I took my sons to China, and went to visit all of them as the tradition says, and they gave me the red pocket money for my sons with a sour face and I asked my mom why. She told me that her aunt and uncle's sons still are single, all of them, and I have not one but two children. I spend the whole night pointed out how wonderful to have children. Sorry, not a funny story. Kid stole my water bottle. I opened it up and left it inside his backpack. This happened to my so when he was at university, another comment here reminded me of it. His class were doing presentations in pairs, and he got paired with some girl who didn't bother to bring notes or research information for their presentation. She instead let him do all the work, and any slides she did were made from his notes and research. He complained to his tutor, and she told him don't worry, leave it to me. And then the day of the presentation comes. They present, and then at the end the tutor asks the girl a question. If I remember correctly the question was something like, is there any evidence to suggest that some cultures are more prone to mental health problems? And the girl answered no. The tutor then asked my so the exact same question, and because he'd actually read the research on the topic, he was able to list of several studies that showed that some cultures are in fact more prone to mental health issues. Someone in my office would always crush lunches with his gigantic ass lunchbox. Either he ate bricks or lead, I don't know, but I always came to the office fridge and found that my lunch was in pieces. So, after 3 bouts of this, and numerous notes from myself and other colleagues, I carefully removed his lunchbox, emptied the contents, a gigantic sandwich, a Twinkie, chips, some vegetable pieces, and a few other bits, and ran over them with my car. I carefully packed it back in, and put it back. He kept his lunch in a cooler by his cube from then on. We had a guy in our office take her in the bathroom every day after lunch, and it would stink up the whole office. The manager asked everyone who needed to vacate their bowels to please use the lobby bathroom, since our office was small and we only had the one bathroom. He didn't listen. Fortunately, he was like clockwork so 5 minutes before he went and I took all the toilet paper. That's right. I forced the man to live with a dirty. My boyfriend's uncle and 7 year old cousin live upstairs from us. His cousin has a tendency to be a little brat. I was holding her Yorkie when she came over and yanked her from my arms. No more than 20 minutes later I went out and bought some dog treats. Every day when I come home I give the dog a treat. Now the dog waits by our door instead of hers. This dude in my accounting class in high school used to ask me for answers to questions, only to spout them to the teacher, like he'd worked them out, thereby looking like a genius, and getting credit for my work. One day our teacher comes into class with a pierced tongue, and is talking sort of funny. Terry, as his name is, proceeds to use it as a point of conversation. Hey miss, do you have any other piercings, like your ear? No, she responds, thinking he's making a name conversation. Would you get your nose pierced? He keeps asking, just to prolong the time before class starts. As usual, he leans over asking for help. What are some other good things to ask her? I was annoyed that he always asked for my help to benefit him, so I thought I'd have some fun. Labia, ask if she's going to get a labia pierced. The is a labia, he says. Oh, sorry, it means eyebrow, that's like the piercing name for it. Like how a tragus is that nose piercing, yeah. Oh cool. Hey miss, are you going to get your labia pierced next? 
Every girl, and especially the teacher, in the class looked at him, like he was trash, and he tried blaming me, but I brushed it off gracefully. Back when I was studying engineering, it occurred to me to try and find an app on my iPhone for those Panasonic projectors in lecture rooms. So I get the app and it just let me connect to the one in the class without a password or anything. I have a friend who is one of those perpetual pranksters, you can't leave your PC or bag or food slash drink unattended when he's around. So I beam a picture of him onto the projector, so the lecturer is just talking away, and this goofy picture of my mate is on the screen. Lecturer doesn't realize yet, people in the lecture start waking up and giggling a bit. Now I use the pen function and drawer on the picture too. Mate was red in the face and trying to hide. Lecturer finally noticed and says Michael why is there a picture of you on the screen? Finally for a fleeting moment I actually wrecked that. Posted this previously. My ex cheated with a married man. He now lives with her. He is a pose, but anyway, I still have a login for her DVR. I logged in, erased all her shows, then recorded only the show cheaters. Petty, but it makes me laugh. I had a 6 month school internship at a mobile phone store. The boss was a total hole that treated his school interns like full paid workers, even gave me some concerning money responsibilities. A while after the internship he called to tell me I would have to give a statement at court. He had a problem with some customer and a shipment and he planned to tell the court that he explained to me everything concerning shippings precisely. Of course he didn't. And of course I didn't lie in front of the judge. My boss attorney gave me a look I will never forget when he realized his stupid plans didn't work out. Few weeks later my now ex-boss tried to call me again. I didn't pick up. This guy 